Somebody once told me how to do a reflection of a shape on a graph in geometry. It was a rigid motion that preserves length and angle measure of a shape on a graph. Well, the shapes keep moving and they don't stop moving. Changing the pre-image into a brand new image didn't make sense to do a transformation. Time for a shape to do a new translation. So much motion, so many shapes. So what's wrong with making the shape change? You never know if you don't go. Transform the shapes as you know. How can you the shape make the image now? Hey now, reflect, translate, rotate. Make them rotate, kind of clockwise or clockwise 91, 80 or 270 degrees Any rotations of composition or reflections across two lines crossing When we rotate all of these shapes We don't make them change the size or angles They're rotation motions like the others That's the way I like it and I will do another Hey now, let's bring your shape with the image now Hey now, we can translate, rotate Hey now, change with the shape, make the image now. Hey now, reflect, translate, rotate. Down, let's make it in. All our translates are shaped. All these shapes stars. Somebody once asked, could I change the size of the shapes? I who really want a non rigid motion. Yep, just go dilate It changes the sizes and angles of shapes And we could all use a little change Well Hey now, change with the shape Make the image now Hey now, reflect Translate, rotate Dial, like make it in